Okay, a bit of mad science going on here today. So as we prepare to move this thing out of the basement, weight and balance today. So this is the first time engine is on, spinner's on, everything. We got some scales going here today. Of course, our gear fairings are on there. You can see the plumb bob along the leading edge of the wing. And back here, our tail structure. Of course, you've seen the vertical before. Got some ident letters from Transport Canada and just a weight there to simulate the horizontal stab on there. And weights, this paint can is empty fuel. And we have another weight that went on, on there um, for simulating full fuel. And our CG lines taped up here on here. You can see that. So turns out still a little nose heavy. So for those of you building, I shortened this firewall three inches from the beginning when I built the thing because everybody says it turns out nose heavy. Well, it turns out mine is still nose heavy. I have no battery, no starter motor. It's a Rotax 503 single carb, single ignition. So even with that, it still ends up being at the front of the CG limit. So we got to add a little bit of tail weight, but just thought I'd give everybody an update. There's our gear leg fairings. We're looking at taking this thing apart in the next two days. She's coming out into the garage for final assembly and then off to the airport we go for test flight. As I said, hopefully by the end of May, that was my goal all along. Give me a chance to fly it in June, hopefully Oshkosh in July. So there we go. There's our wings. You've seen all this before in the previous videos. Thought I'd just give you a little update here with um, things as we're doing. And somebody wanted to see a close up of the tail. I'll, I'll give you more detailed pictures and things, but this is my bell crank assembly at the back with springs and tension springs here to control uh, the, the, the forces and more of that later, but for now, that's it.